Greetings, this is Sean, your PT guy here. Our videos help you move better and stay independent so you can enjoy your life. In this video, we're gonna show you some wheelchair basics that everyone with a wheelchair needs to know about. We'll go over the leg rest, how to adjust them, what to look for. We're gonna go through the brakes and how to manage those brakes and then also the armrest. And finally, how to fold up that wheelchair if you need to put it away. Let's get started. Disclaimer. Let's start with the legs and the leg rests. Anytime you're using a wheelchair, you want to make sure that there's not a lot of pressure going through your sit bones on your bottom that can lead to pressure ulcers and sores and all those things. You don't want to do that. So if your knees are up like mine are up right now with the leg rests, it's putting a lot of pressure on my bottom, my sit bones. Okay. If this is my knee, the leverage going down, just like my leg here, I've got a lot of pressure coming through those sit bones. So we don't want to have our knees up too high. So we need to make sure that the leg rests are long or lengthened enough so that my, my leg bone right here is a little bit more flat. That's going to allow the surface of the cushion or the surface I'm sitting on to be dispersed. So I'm not putting a lot of pressure there. So how do we do that? Well, first you can take off your leg rest. You push this little guy right here. Take this off and show you. And on my wheelchair, I have these spots right here that is, you can push, you push it in and you can slide this, this leg up and down. So I need to make it longer. So I'm gonna push this button here. And I'm gonna bring it all the way down. Good. And now I'm going to lock it back up. These are always a pain. You got to take this guy and put these two pieces, these two holes on the two pins that are coming up. So I'm going to open this guy up like this, put it back on. And then I'm going to bring it around, lock it, put the calf rest down. Look at that. You see that? See how my leg is a lot more level with the chair on the surface. That's excellent versus this one. Look at this. This one's still way too short. So let me fix that one too. I'm going to take the leg off. I got my push pins here. Yours may not have push pins. It may actually just have a bolt that you need to do that um, to loosen it up and tighten it with. Okay. This is a little locker mechanism here. Again, I'm going to put my two pins, line up my two holes with the two pins down here. I'm going to open up this back here. This is always a pain. Lock it up. Look at that. That is looking much, much, much better. You see how my, my thighs, my femurs are a lot more straight level with the surface. That's what we're looking for. Now, another thing with the leg rest is if you are, if you have a leg injury or something, you need to have the leg rest elevated or your leg elevated, maybe you sprained your ankle or you, you broke your ankle or something. Um, you do that with this lever here. If you want to just push it up like this, that's going to allow it to come up. Okay. And if you want to drop it, don't just pull on this lever because then it's going to crash like that. If you're, if you did that and your foot was in pain, ow. Okay. So don't do that. So if you need to raise it up, you just bring it up like that. And this is that lever that you push down on mine. You push down and then that will slowly lower your foot down. So like this, you can push this lever and just adjust it. So I'm going to bring it up. And my legs are super long, so I could even just take this foot rest like this and stick my leg here. And now it's elevated. No problem. Much better. Much, much better. The other thing you could do that uh, some people like to put a pillow here just to have it a little bit more safe and, and less pressure on the calf because this calf rest uh, can put a lot of pressure on, your, on the back of your calf. But that's the leg rest. Um, let's go now to the brakes. Let me just lower this guy. Okay. Let's go up to the brakes. The brakes 
you always need to make sure your brakes are locked whenever you get up from the chair or get down to the chair. If you're standing up, you need to lock these brakes, okay? You lock them by just pushing it forward, okay? If you, you unlock by pulling it back, lock here. It's gonna, you're gonna feel it touch the wheel, but then, or the, yeah, the wheel, and then what you need to make sure is Get that little click at the end. That's how you know it's for sure locked. And then pull on the rim here and see if the wheel's moving. If it's moving at all, you have an issue when it's locked because these this bracket, it needs to be, there's a little socket wrench here, a, a bolt that can be undone and just slid back just a quarter inch. And then it'll be able to grip onto the wheel and it won't be moving or such. So that's important to know. Now, the other thing that you need to know with the brakes is when you're standing up, obviously you need to remove the leg rests, okay? You swing them out of the way, push this pin right in here, right in there. You just push this guy and that brings it out, okay? And always make sure you're putting this up so you don't, so no one's walking around and clipping it. I'm gonna push this one, bring this up. I've got this locked here and this locked here. And now from here I can stand up and the wheelchair is not moving, okay? Okay, I can stand up. The wheelchair is not gonna slide back because I'm, I'm locked here, all right? I've got a lock here, a locked here. My brakes are nice and back and sturdy. The wheels are not moving, the chair is safe. I can put my hands here and then I can stand up, no problem, okay? So the leg rests aren't in my way. Um, everything is good. If I had a walker, I could do that, all that. Let's go over to the, actually, let's go to the armrests next. These armrests are helpful. Some of the wheelchairs, actually, you just pull it and it swings back and then it can come right back and clip into this spot right here. This one does not, mine does not. Mine, I just have to push this pin here if I push this pin, the two posts come out to make it easier for me to do it like a transfer over to a recliner or a couch. But how do you do that? You push this pin right here and mine gets very tight, but this comes off. And then what you can do is I could transfer over here a little bit easier if I needed to transfer over easier, okay? So that's another way to do that. So we went through the leg rests, we went through the brakes. Um, oops, can you believe that? A physical therapist just put it on backwards. I cannot believe that guy. All right, anyways, see physical therapists do the same thing. All right, so that's the leg rests, the brakes, the arm rests, how do you get your chair to fold up if you need to put it in the car or something? First, you need to take off your leg rest. You just swing it out with this little lever here, okay? You swing it out to the side and you pull up, okay? These two pins, these two holes, slide into these two pins right here. So let me show you again. So you got these two holes right there. You pull just straight up, pull up and it's out, okay? So there's one. The other one, same thing, okay? Now let me show you how to um, get the chair folded up. It's locked, so all I have to do on any wheelchair is just pull the seat, the sling, the seat that you're sitting on, it's called a sling, you can pull it straight up and that should fold it in half, watch. So I'm gonna pull it up See that? And there you go. Now, the wheelchair is locked. If I wanted it unlocked to wheel it, I could do that, but make sure it's locked when you get it into the car. You gotta make sure it's locked when you get it into the car. Now, how do you get it back out? How do you push it back down? Same thing, you just push on the frame here. You push down like this. And there you go. So there you have it, the wheelchair basics. If you found this video helpful, be sure to click the like button down below 
And if you want more videos to help you learn how to move better and stay independent so you can enjoy your life, click the subscribe button down below to make sure you get access to all of our videos that are going to be coming out. Thanks for watching.